Hi everyone, this is Marve here, and today I want to show you how Racket works. First of all, we provide you with a front end and a back end. Front end is used for your members to engage with each other, and back end is for you to manage this portal that you have. Let's start with the front end. So on this URL here, we have demo.racket.com, which is going to be your organization name, that's racket.com for you, and it's customizable. If you want to remove the racket name and make it members.demo.org, for example, it is possible. Under that, we have a place for your logo on the header. On the left hand side, you are seeing a navigation where we list all of your boards and pages. And here we have the feed. So whenever you post something, it will appear here with the chronological order. And within these posts, you can add documents, images, videos, live streams, or anything that you can think of. Other members can like these, comment on them, or share them on other social media platforms. They, they can also follow these posts to get email notifications whenever there is something new about it. So we have a couple of tools that you can utilize. You can see them on the admin panel. Contacts, email, SMS, membership, events, fundraising, social, jobs, and directory. Let's start with the contacts. So what you can do on Rekat is that if you have a list of contacts, if you have a list of members that you want to upload and if you want them to use this platform, you can definitely do that by copying and pasting. And under connections, you can see your members and they can also see each other. For example, I can see my own profile. I can see my work information, education information and my pronouns. And I can also send this user myself a private message, which would allow me to engage with them. I can also find people with similar interests. For example, I can find people in my city. I can see who's living in Brooklyn and I can decide to get in touch with them. This is the same for schools, companies, and countries. If you want to find people who are working in your sector or industry, it is also possible. If people have tags, you can also see them under others, which would allow members with the same interests to connect. For example, if you have Pokemon lovers, they can just find each other and send each other private messages. A member can choose to disable this private messaging, so it is also safe. As an admin, you can also turn this off for good. Let's move on with membership. Membership is one of the most used features that we have. So what you can have here is that you can have a couple of different membership plans. As you can see, we have a couple of plans in here, gold membership, premium, silver, and standard. Their intervals are different. These are annual plans and these are monthly. As a member, I can choose any plan that I like. And when I do that, the system asks for my credit card. And once I fill out this form, the system will charge me right away. You can also sign up for automatic membership renewal. So every interval you are going to be charged without having anything uh, manual. You can also choose to pay with online payments or bank transfers. Once I set my membership, I can also see, for example, my membership cards, which are tied to membership plans. This is a membership card that belongs to my organization. I can customize it however I like. I can change the fonts and the colors. As a member, I have a profile picture in here. And as an organization, you have your logo. Under that, we have a QR code, which you can utilize to scan and check people into events or check their membership and see whether they are paid or not. I can add this card to my Apple wallet or download it as image. I can also see my payments and invoices. There is also a feature that allows you to send automatic debt reminders to your members. So whenever they are going to be charged, they are going to receive emails so they can remember to pay. Let's go back to the home page. And another feature that most of our customers use is the events. Events allow you to host online and uh, in venue events. If you go to our events page, you can see a couple of events that are upcoming. For example, the Phenomate Europe events. I have a title, an image, and explanation of the event, and on the right hand side you are seeing the different ticket types, which have different prices and different membership levels. So if you want to create tickets for a certain membership level, this is certainly possible. You can also create RSVP tickets and public tickets. This is in a venue, so I get the map, but if this were in an online event, 
then I would get the URL. I can also add this to my calendar and get notified beforehand, and I can see who else is participating. For example, Michael Jordan is participating to this event. If you go back to home page, you can see my tickets, the ones that I purchased before, and they look like this. They have the QR code again, so I can check people in at the door to events. You can also embed codes in the record system. So for example, if you have an event feedback form, then your members can fill this out so you can get the feedback. If you have any type of other form or, form or poll, you can also add them to the system. Another cool feature that we have that allows members to engage with each other is the discussion boards. This is a board for volunteers and it looks like this. As a member, I can see who posted what and when. For example, I can see Michael Jordan posted this eight months ago, and I can see there's an attachment to that. I can like this, comment on it, or share it on other social media platforms. If this is a topic that I want to talk further about, for example, again, Pokemons, I can definitely engage with that. And as a member, I can create a new post and contribute to this board. There are no limits to boards that you can create, so you can create countless boards for your members to subscribe to, get notified with emails, and contribute to. And another thing that we have is the Carrier Center. If you're using this platform to post jobs and vacancies, or even volunteers, volunteer work, you can just use this page. As you can see, we have a couple of listings in here. These are written for approval, which means nothing can be posted until, as the admin, you approve it. You can, of course, turn this off, but admin approval allows you to have a safe space. For example, I can see Apple is looking for a software engineer, and I can see the details. If there are any, I can see the company data, and I can see who posted this, again, Michael Jordan. And if I want to get in touch with them personally, I can definitely do that. If I'm a person who is looking for a job, then I can put my profile in here. So if someone is looking for an employee and my profile matches, they can get in touch with me and employ me. For example, Michael Jackson is looking for a job and I can see the tag on his profile. So if I'm looking for an employee and if I think that he fits to this position, I can just send him a message. You can also add different pages. For example, if you want to create a static page for contact us that will redirect you to somewhere else, you can definitely do that. So these are the main functions that we have. We also have a couple of outreaching options, for example, emails. So if you want to send any type of emails to your users, which means everyone on your contact database, you can definitely do that. This page is used for newsletters. And I can see this newsletter, which is not record newsletter, and I can see the previous ones. As a member, I can subscribe to that. And if this is a page, newsletter, then I will have to choose a membership plan for that, which means you can create pet newsletters on the record system. You can also send emails, mass emails to all of your contacts or, or just a group of them too. These are the main functions that we have on record that we think that you can use. You can take a look at our case studies to see which other organizations that we work with. You work with associations, ELMA organizations, nonprofits, and anything else that you can think of. So that's all from us. If you have any questions, just drop us a message from here. We usually reply in a few minutes. If not in a few minutes, definitely in 24 hours, and we can get in touch with you.